Well, what's going on guys? So for the second beta weekend, I decided to play Necro. First weekend I played Rogue and I wanted to try a, a caster. So I went with Necro. My goal was to try to put as many skill points as I can into minion type skills to try to make more of a summoner type build. And this is how it went. Hopefully you enjoy this video and uh, here's my experience. So the first boss I came in counter with uh, Level 4. Wasn't too difficult. I kept my range and the, the skeleton stayed alive. Which is uh, hopefully expected, especially this early on in the game. And uh, I got my first access to the Book of the Dead, which allows you to kind of customize your minions. The first ones are uh, skeletal warriors you could customize. You could do skirmishers, which are more offensive, or you could do more of a, a defensive build with defenders. I opted to go with the skirmishers because it wasn't too hard. I was playing on veteran difficulty, but being that it's early stages of the game, only 1 to, to 25 levels, it wasn't too difficult. Level 11 uh, countered my first uh, or second boss, Tomb Lord, and he was uh, pretty easy as well. Kept my distance, just used decompose and held the button down, and um, pr pretty easy. And the skeleton just stayed alive. Then I found these nice boots, which being that I was using Blight for AoE damage, this was even better because it kind of pulls them into the center and uh, keeps them controlled so they can't attack you and they, this paired well with Corpse Explosion later on. Then around level 15 I got Skeletal Mages. So I was able to spawn three Skeletal Mages in addition to five Warriors. Bringing my total to eight minions. Then we find the Blood Bishop around level 17 and another easy boss fight kept my distance and he really wasn't doing much damage at all to the skeletons if they died or if they lost health I could uh, either resummon them if they died or just use the skeletal priest which heals them when you uh, consume one of the corpses now this one um, the Vala this was actually the Strava was very difficult for my rogue because of melee build but for the necro again the caster build I kept my distance and the uh, Minions did most of the work, and I added some more damage and uh, enhanced damage with the decompose. Same thing with this boss around level 21. And as I progressed, this build got even more and more powerful because I paired it with the, the corpse explosion for the AoE damage. I found some, some better aspects, which gave me more resource generation. And I actually died to this on my rogue, this boss. Uh, short Herald of Lilith Herald of Lilith and uh, this is much much easier on the Necro again I wasn't even I was barely hit I didn't even I think I used like maybe one uh, healing potion then 25 I got my uh, my third unlock on the Book of the Dead which is First, I tried Army of the Dead as a skill. It wasn't wasn't that great, so I just respect into something else. I did more Corpse Explosion, and then I did a quest on level level 25 to get uh, Golem. So that was the the third part of the Book of the Dead. It only went up to Bone for the um, the Golem because I'm the max level 25 in the beta. But um, this gave me five skeletons, three mages, and a Golem. And then I found this pretty nice ring, which gave me more damage. Um, for my summons, my skeletons. And the build was already pretty good, but as, as I found more legendaries and tweaked my build a little bit, the single targeting and AoE damage became much, much more overpowered. And I did some more gambling to try to get some more upgrades. I got upgrades for my, uh, my pants, which further helped my tankiness, giving me more armor. Any time I deal damage, and being that most of my damage is AoE, that stacks up pretty quickly. And you can see here, I can just keep my distance. The, the All the minions absorb most of the damage using Blight. It crowd controls them. And be, my be, because of that, my minions barely took any damage, which was awesome. Then I just did, at max level, I was doing some dungeons and, you know, tweaking the build around. And seeing where I could upgrade it. This build was so overpowered in a way towards the end, I didn't even need to do any enchanting or upgrading of the actual gear. Then I found this nice amulet, 
which gave one to all corpse skills, which boosted my corpse explosion up to level 7 out of a possible uh, 5 ranks. And then pair that with some uh, resource generation every time you hit an enemy. And being that corpse explosion doesn't even cost resources, it was uh, a no-brainer. And I could use Blight Bomb as much as I want now. It only costs 22 Essence. Um, so overall, the Necro, definitely if I was going to do Hardcore, I'd go Necro because it's... it's <laughs> In my mind, it's very overpowered. You can keep your distance while doing a ton of damage. AoE, decompose goes through like walls. <laughs> There's no like line of sight with that ability. And uh, But the more fun build in my mind was Rogue. The safer build is definitely the, the Necro. So, you know, depending on what you want to play. Hopefully this uh, video helped you decide. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below if you played. What was your favorite? Class and build.